Thank you, Les Ken Corley. I want to ask the Minister what specific concrete measures are being taken or will be taken by the Government and on PUS to ensure the viability of the post office network. And the context in which I ask that question, Ministers, you're well aware that there was a meeting recently of postmasters and there was overwhelming support for industrial action. They're balloting their members and they expect a result by the end of April. So this is a crisis situation and that's, as I said, Minister, the context of my question. Um, the government is committed to a, a sustainable on post and post office network as a key com component of the economic and social infrastructure throughout Ireland. On post is a commercial state body with a mandate to act commercially and a statutory responsibility for the state's postal service and the post office network. In addition, Irish post offices are typically independent businesses run by postmasters. I have met with the new chairperson of OnPost and the chief executive, and they fully understand the government position. They assured me that a sustainable, viable and customer-focused post office network is a key strategic priority for the company. The company has assured me that there are no plans for consolidation outside of the terms of the transformation programme agreed with the Irish Postmasters Union in 2018 and that there will be no compulsory closures of post offices. The transformation programme was impacted by the COVID-19 pandemic. I worked with OnPost and introduced the Pandemic Recovery Fund in 2021 worth 8.5 million euro over an 18 month period. This commenced on the 1st of July 2021 and will continue until the end of this year. I fully recognise the importance of the high value and the high quality uh, post office network is to our citizens right across the country and the central and trusted role of our postmasters in our communities. On post, including through the post office network, provides important services to its customers and is contracted to provide key government services to citizens. Uh, the work on an interdepartmental group established to consider the feasibility of new government services is being considered at present and I'm committed to the sustainable uh, network. And while decisions relating to the network are matters for the board and the management of the company, they continue to engage with the IPU on operational matters and the government is continued, uh, uh, committed to ensuring that Ampus continues to play a vital role. I requested officials, deputy in my department, to engage with the company other government departments and key stakeholders to explore all options in line with this Thank commitment. You. Minister, I heard what you said. You said the government is committed to a sustainable post office network. And the next thing you said was that you met with UNPUS and they fully understand the government position. I mean, my question is, you probably clarified a bit there, why haven't you met with the Irish postmasters? And then the, the, the sentence you uttered just struck fear in my heart when you said there will be no compulsory closures. We know that, Minister. But if postmasters can't make a living, there will be nobody to run the post offices. So there'll be no person from on post and there'll be no government minister coming down to close the post offices. But if they're not viable, if they don't have enough services, if postmasters are not earning a decent living, they will close. Your interdepartmental group was supposed to report last July. We've heard nothing. So there is no progress. That's why they're looking at industrial action. This is last gasp stuff, Minister. Minister. Minister uh, thank you, Deputy. Just to say, I have met with the Irish Postmasters Union on several occasions. I spoke at the IPU annual conference in October of last year. Um, my department is engaging in weekly meetings um, in relation to the viability of the post office network throughout the country. And you can be assured, Deputy, that this is a high priority for me as Minister with responsibility responsibility in this area to ensure that we have a viable and sustainable post office network. As I say, there's weekly meetings taking place and nothing has been ruled in or out in relation to consideration around this, and that includes uh, financial supports. I am acutely aware of the valuable importance of our post, not, our post office network. We've seen it in action uh, right throughout the pandemic and the huge support that, and service that they provided th in, within communities up and down uh, the country and it's absolutely critical and it's a priority for me and you can be assured that everything has been done within my department working with other departments around uh, supporting the network
Deputy. Thank you, Minister. And I don't doubt uh, the fact that, that you want to see a sustainable post office network. My issue is not with you personally. It's how it's being done, or literally how it's not being done. Because uh, we have a situation where next year postmasters will be basically relying on payment for transactions. Has the government looked at a PSO? Why has your interdepartmental group, who was supposed to report last July, still not reported? It is nine months after it was supposed to report. What is happening? What progress is being made? I mean, postmasters are at the end of their tether. I've met them from all over my constituency, Leith from Roscommon, Sligo and Donegal. These are ordinary people going to work every day, wanting to provide a service. You told us what a brilliant service it was during COVID. But these people are genuinely concerned that this time next year some of them won't be there. And what will we have? We'll have councillors and TDs, including myself, asking that this post office won't be closed. But if you thank don't you. have a postmaster to run thank it, you. if Minister they can't you. make a living, we'll have Minister no post offices. Thank you, Deputy. In relation to the interdepartmental group, uh, that report is under active consideration within the department. But I'm also acutely aware that there are a number of issues that we need to consider as a government, uh, as I said my department is doing on a weekly basis, around the future sustainable viability of the network. And that the questions you're asking are exactly what is, being, uh, is under consideration within my department, with officials in my department and others. And you can be assured, um, as I have said to the IP you previously um, and also in my engagements with the CEO of Ampost and the chairperson of uh, the board who have responsibility to ensure uh, that we do have a sustainable post office network right throughout the country. So you can be sure that work is ongoing, uh, De Deputy, and I'm very aware of, I suppose, the issues that you've raised around the transformation payments uh, that end at the end of this year, the 8.5 million uh, euro that was secured uh, through my work working with Ampost last year. So I'm acutely aware of the issues and you can be assured that work is ongoing and I'm very aware of the issues around ensuring that we have a viable network.